Hey, yo, it's me, Pops Fan Marmalade, and you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. Uh-huh. So come get some. Cromcon. Cromcon. First world, come in and take a seat Pay us no attention, it's all conspiracy We have satire and parody, some funny, some perverse If none of it's offensive to you, you'd be the first Friday morning. You know what that means. We're going to be doing the thing. We're going to do the thing with Max. Yeah. What's up, Max? Not much. Not much. How you feeling, bro? Ready well, for this? Off and on, I'm all right. So I should be good. All right. If you need a break, just let me know. I got commercials. Yeah, no. Yep. <laughs> As always, we're joined by Luz the Butcher. Good morning. I'm here. I have coffee, so I will eventually wake up. <laughs> All right, cool. And we're also joined by Hermes, the fake bird man. Oh. Chicken man. How come nobody ah. has avatars? Is it just me? Sorry for being late. 
is it just me and my connection or does everybody yeah, not see? avatars? Yeah, it must just be me then because I don't see them on the stream yard. Anyway, good morning to you all. Welcome to yet another edition. Okay, I can see them on YouTube. Good enough. Um, welcome to the fifth edition of Tombs of Annihilation with Max DeVille. Um, you going to kill us this time, Max? Yeah, I don't know. You guys are back in Port Niagara. <laughs> Probably the safest area in Schultz. Well, we're only there for a minute, right? Yeah. All right. So let me get into the... Uh, Geez, I got to change everything every time. It's ridiculous. Roll 20. Let me leave my avatars alone. Ugh. Want me to change everything? No Johnny, this time? Hmm? You should be here. He's running a little late. Okay. You guys hear Rocky still whining up there? Yeah. Oh, it gets later. Me too. He just sounds pathetic, doesn't he? It's crazy. It's like, come on, Rock. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm trying to get into this stupid roll 20 thing and get this up, guys. Okay. Just give me a minute. Get in my game. Launch my game. Share my screen. Okay. I'm, I'm, I think I'm 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 red eye. All right, there we go. Looks like I'm in. Everything working for a change. Yeah, good, good. All right, Max, take her away, bro. All right, last time we were here, you guys went to Kirsabal trying to find that that uh, rumored ritual that would allow you to fly. You found out that it allows you to fly, but only temporarily for three days. So you need to be on the lookout for a black orchid to, 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 to finish that ritual. Right. And to do, to do it, it takes away her ability to fly. Correct. That priestess lady. So it's something that we were like, yeah. And then you guys traveled back to Port Nianzaru. So you guys are actually. Where's the city? We get some horses, I believe. Port Nianzaru. You have money for horses? I don't. Uh, I don't. No, we didn't go back to get horses. Uh, we were we gonna like split um a horse and each of us ride on. Oh, that's right, because two of us can go on a horse. Thing. I mean, two of us get on one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that way we can get around you, uh, quicker or whatnot. Yeah, we can die quicker too. We can't move on the ground if we're on a horse. I'm just saying, we're going through a jungle. I'd rather be on yeah, the thing is, my the jungle and on boats and rivers, horses aren't really practical. That's that's what I, I'm just like, man. I'd rather have my feet on the ground when I'm in unfamiliar territory. And jungle is definitely unfamiliar to me. Horses can't, can't move to the jungle anyway. We ain't gonna be moving any faster just because we got a horse underneath us. It's not like we're gonna be galloping, you know. Not in the jungle. Uh, huh? Not in the jungle. What's where's unless we can put that flying spell on them, then they can fly around. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna do all of that, go through all that trouble to give the horses flying power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna give up one opportunity to fly and give it to a horse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that horse would love you. 
Batman just doesn't go uh, flying wears off without it even realizing while it's in the sky. Oh no! <laughs> like there's a horse up. Oh, nope. Nope. Back to town. nope. It's it's not up there. I had thought we had gone back to town to stable Johnny's horse. I didn't know we were trying to get another one. Doesn't seem. No, I think we just went back because we weren't sure where we were gonna go. Like the the place that we wanted to go to get the wait the flower or something that we need for the ritual is like way far away, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. And, and that's not our pl our yeah our um, goal. The, the like tower that they told us to go to. Come here, Rock. Come here, Rock. Come on, buddy. So, so where are we going? What are we doing? We need to figure out where the ruins are. Right? Is the ruins of all They told us where they were. Or something. Uh, On your map. The main quest. Right? Come here, Rock. Oh. The main quest, you don't know really where to go. Right. That's what I'm saying. So, you guys are just trying to figure out your footing in Chult right now. And you're getting there. You're finally figuring yourself out. And Zaka's no help for that. She can't tell us where to go. I mean, she could. We're supposed to go somewhere like quite south. It was like near the peaks of, between the peaks of flame and the. Yeah, it's I can't called really zoom in on that, but it's like. Yeah. It's called Omu, I believe. Yeah, Omu. O M U. Well then. I think Johnny's in the room. See what see what Johnny says. Yeah, I was gonna say I see him on the screen, but here he comes. Hi, Johnny. Hey, guys. Sorry, I was running late. No problem. No problem. So we are uh, having. Hey, Johnny, could you turn your mic down a little bit? Because everyone else is like super quiet. <laughs> How's that? That's better. That's better. I think it's better. All right. Team, where are we going? Let's go kill some things, get some loot. I'm not sure if you guys discussed it. I know last time we talked about getting an extra horse. Did we do that? We just kind of talked ourselves oh, out of it. Decided if we're against going to be in the jungle, horses aren't really that great in the jungle. Or if we're going by boat, they're not really great on boat either. Okay, so, I'll just I'll just bed mine here then. Yeah. Um, that was what I was going to say. Unless we have four horses and it actually shortens the trip, if we're doubling up on horses, they're going to be walking anyway. We might as well walk. <laughs> I'd rather have my feet on the ground anyway in case of ambush type shit. Like a giant. Right, but depending on what we find, sometimes it's not bad to have a horse or something to put our stuff on. Yeah, well, if you want to bring yours as a pack animal, that's a big <laughs> What happens when he gets scared and runs away with all of our stuff? <laughs> Falls off a cliff. All right, so you guys are in the middle of the city. You head back to your 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 thunderous lizard, the raucous little bar that you guys like to hang out in. And what are you a cleric of? A thander, right? Say again? Your god. Who is your deity? Mine? Yeah. You. Yeah. Yours, you're, you're a life cleric, right? I'm a life cleric. So you'd be Lathander, the god of light. Gotcha. So... One of your compatriots, another cleric of the Thander, drunk as hell, comes up to you and he's, just, he's like, hey, 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 could you do me a favor? 
I'll pay you for it. Depends on what it is. Tell me more. Just deliver us some letters down the river to Camp Vengeance. There's a there's a detachment of soldiers down there, and we have to send their letters to them. Mm, how far is it? It's probably about two days away. And it's what's in it for me? Hundred gold coins. Hundred. Yeah. I'm with a group right now. Let me ask them. And maybe if we're going that way, it might be possible, but let me ask first. Sure. Sure. You guys, I know we aren't really like sure where we're going yet, but if we pass this place, um, this other cleric friend of mine who will, he will pay me a hundred gold coins to deliver some letters. What do you think? Are we Should I ask it, for... Are we getting it up front? I'm, end up what? Are we getting yeah. it up front? Yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, I'm down if we're getting it up front, as long as the letters aren't, like, telling him to do evil stuff. And I'm assuming not, since he's a light cleric like he's you. He's a light cleric like me, and he said we're delivering letters to soldiers in a camp. Yeah, I'm down with it's that. pretty noble. Yeah. And, I mean, it's 100 gold coins. Seems pretty easy. I mean, it's only down... The main river here to Camp Vengeance is right here. Oh, so it's not, not quite where we're <clears throat> not moving in the direction of Omu then? Sort of. I mean, you could go here and then go straight down to Omu. Yeah. I'm down with whatever. What do you think, guys? Mr. Eleanor? I think if he's a brother of your order, you know, it's your duty to actually help him out. Gold right. or not gold. <laughs> There's got to be some gold. We are, I am a pirate, however, you know. <laughs> oh. Or at least a drink. Pirate, Eric, I just don't. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the boat needs a cleric. Um. Lots as of long as it's not too ocean. far out of the way and we don't have to come back to get the gold. Okay. Can he come can he come with us? Or is he really just need us to go and come back? I just need you to deliver the letters. I don't care if you come back or if you go somewhere else or what. I just need these letters delivered and I don't really want to go out into the jungle. You wanna stay here and drink? That's right. Oh, how will we receive payment? I give it to you right here. And he holds up a big bag of fucking coins. Sold. <laughs> here's the letters. Here's the letters. And yeah. here's the gold coins. Perfect. I will add the gold coins to my... Uh, oh, we're going to split it. that up right now. One, two, three, four of us, right? So we each get 25. Works for me. I need money. That's good. Good, good, good. And letters. So we each get, what, 25, you said? Yep. something to do guys let's go do we need anything else from the town before we take off um everybody got their uh bug repellent and all that kind of stuff yep pretty sure we used one we mm -hmm. all used one so you want to crash for the night and get up the next day yeah <clears throat> All right, so it was a silver coin per person per night. And then we can head back out. Can I pay them with a dagger? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> they want money, bud. I, I got this one. I flipped the barkeep a gold coin, tell him to have some hot food brought up to our rooms, and away we go. All right. Thank you. I'm hungry. 
sitting and diddling with this guy all night. We'll all can starve. I got shit to do. So you're headed from here, Fort Niagara, to here, Camp Vengeance. All right, let's do straight it. Straight shot down the river. Easy peasy. Just don't pet any dinosaurs, please. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? It's our troll. It's our tr our friend, the troll under the bridge. You guys remember him, right? <laughs> Hi, Doc. You really got to get Doc to just come do this, man. Yeah. He I could be a troll. Like that would be hilarious. I think he'd like it. You could just talk like a troll, Doc. Just like I mean, he's a great big right. guy, right? He's six two. He's a big boy, so he could play like a dwarf. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> We could be a pirate like me. We could have fun. Camp Vengeance. <laughs> Rough. Enough to the beach. We may never know the trouble. Random encounters. Oh, no. Let's see what Max rolls. Oh, do, 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 do. The chat. Go back to the chat. Oh, no. Wilderness encounters. That's what a disappointed cow says. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh fuck. <laughs> I think we're in trouble. Uh, that were tiger was 75. Yeah, but once we figured him out, he wasn't shit. Yeah, but this one's an 86. Quipper? What's a quipper? What? What? <clears throat> Swarms of quippers. Whatever the hell those are. Swarms. Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping this bug repellent works for something. Well, there's bugs, and... You know, then there's a swarm of bugs, and um, that's, that's 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 different. No, I guess we, that's we're that in trouble. Makes your spell, huh? Um, I'm looking at my spells right now, guys. Where um, I got one with the uh, fire, probably will help us. Yeah, I got that like a flying fish. fish. Look at that guiding bolt. Bam! Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I don't think arrow's going to do no good against these guys. Uh, no, no, it won't. I don't think a sword's going to do no good against these guys. But I got this guiding Fire. bolt. A what? Guiding okay, bolt. What, what are these guys? What are we seeing? Because I'm not seeing the icon rule. We're just uh, we're just basing it off of what Max just mumbled, which said a swarm of something. <laughs> they look like fish to me. A swarm yeah. of whippers, he said. <clears throat> like piranha oh, fish. It looks like piranha. Are they flying piranha? Yeah, Doc. I knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that. not. I, I knew that. Yes. We may never, never, never come home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I did not. So thank you for clarifying because I thought it was something else. Okay. If it's Doc, it's probably always a music reference. I'm just saying. I'm just not familiar with Dio. Oh, girl, you need to familiarize yourself. Quiet. Here's what it says. Real shit right there. I'll be right back. What? I know what we'll be doing on Doc Show. <laughs> Talking about Dio. The swarms presented here aren't your ordinary or benign assemblies of little creatures. They form as a result of some sinister or unwholesome influence. A vampire can summon a vampire. A vampire can summon swarms swarms of bats and rats from the darkest corners of the night. While well, the very presence of a mummy lord can cause scarab beetles to boil up from the sand-filled depths of its tomb. A hag might have the power to turn swarms of ravens against her enemies, while a UNT abomination might have swarms of poisonous snakes slithering in from its wake. Even druids can't charm these swarms. 
damn it, and their aggressiveness is borderline unnatural. So we can't convince them to stop. We're just gonna have to fight these things. But something is summoning them. Yes, so there's something else here. So I bet you we're gonna kill these MFers and then the real threat's gonna show up. That's kind of what happened last time, right? Didn't we kill like a little frogman and then and then the were tiger jumped us? Uh-huh. Yeah. So did Max have to go let the dog out or something? What happened there? He said he would be right back, I think. Okay, well, since Doc's in the chat, I'm going to flatter him by, play yeah, let's play by playing his trailer right now. Do it. Okay, do it. Roll 20 screen wasn't acting right, so I had to refresh. Hey, Doc, you uh, Doc's what a here we go, deal last in line. Yeah, yeah. Pops, are you a deal fan? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Steven. Good old Vivian Campbell. I, I have yeah. a choice but to be a <laughs> deal fan. <laughs> <laughs> he was giant in stature, just like Klaus Mine. And he loved castles, right? Yeah, he's badass. Really he, he owned his own castle. You got to give him credit. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to own my own castle as well. I think everybody probably in this whole party probably have that. I mean, I actually aspire. I actually drew plans up for a modernized inside but old school outside castle. Oh, sweet. Dude, it was badass, man. Elevators in the corner towers that go up to a bedroom, you know, on the top of each corner tower. Was, oh, shit. We had a garage underground with a full shop. You know, one yeah. floor was just the uh, home theater and all that kind of stuff. You know, game room. All, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It was badass, dude. Yeah, no, I stayed in a tuck in a in a cut in the world. <laughs> yeah, I actually stayed in a castle. They have like these uh this place in Kentucky that's like tree houses and castles. Yeah. And it has like secret passages and you get to stay there for the weekend. It was pretty sweet. Well, I actually wanted to build this on a piece of land like near PIR on on a high enough like on, on a hill or a high enough area somewhere around the racetrack so that I sit at the top of my castle and watch the race. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dick. Because <laughs> that bit of real estate won't be pricey at all. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the thing is, is that 30 years ago, you could have bought all the land around PIR. You know? When it yeah. Was when it was just a little podunk, you know, 30,000 people went out there for the weekend. Shit, now it's like the biggest city, their second biggest city in Arizona when they go out there for the weekend. Okay. They like to set up convenience stores just for that weekend and shit. It's crazy. <laughs> Pop-up convenience stores. <laughs> out in the booties, yeah, man. Just pop-up convenience stores. It's crazy. 
well, not the movie <clears throat> Desert by the Track, but you know what I'm saying? It's just like um, the party, uh, lot, shit ton of RVs and people partying all weekend. It's crazy. Yeah, Max and I don't live far from our racetrack here, and it gets crazy out there. Yeah. Right, because you're on the boat, and these uh, swarms of clippers are coming up behind you. So they are like piranha. They're in the water? Yep. Great. Okay. I pull out my fishing pole. Can they eat the boat? I mean... Can they get into the boat? Can they eat the boat? Well, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if this is some a threat that we need to react to proactively, or well, I'm pretty sure they're coming for us. So uh, my my question is is um, yeah, what are they gonna? Well, we'll see if what they attack first. Because here's the thing: I can't light them on fire if they're in the water. Yep. All right, here we go. <laughs> Roll initiative, yes? Yep. Look on your person. Oh, where's my initiative at? Uh, where is my initiative? Oh, good. <laughs> Put me at the bottom. <laughs> there you go. I expected. Descending. All right, the Panther goes first. <laughs> I don't know what the pan know. Panther ain't jumping in the water, so no. Don't you uh, I mean, I don't know what you know. Can you try to intimidate? I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, okay. All he does is bite and claw, man. There ain't no. Uh, uh, then no, nothing he can do. He has a good perception, but what are we gonna do? Find out that we got shit we got to kill? Okay. Um. Yeah, we already know that. All right. So it jumps. The fish fucking swim to the edge of the boat and jump over the edge of the, the, the boat and try to attack Johnny. But he, now, do they have legs or are they just flopping there or what do they, just, what do they look like? They're just jumping out of the boat, out of the, out of the fish, out of the water. Don't see me the on the. I don't see me on the list there, guys. You rolled the Panthers thing. Did you not roll yours? Uh, I, th I thought I was I thought I was rolling mine. Whoops. I was clicked on me. The heck. And now it won't even click on me. <laughs> I can click on you just fine. See, it says Pops 20 Initiative, right above Johnny. No. In the chat. <laughs> oh. That was from your, your role in your, your Panther. I wasn't clicked on it. Now I can't click on mine. I can click on the Panther, but I, now, okay. Why would I? Why would I use the Panthers' initiative? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there, better. That is better. Yay! There you go. So the fish missed. Pops, you can go first. Um. So they're they're landing in the boat. Yep. Yeah. Just trying to bite. Uh, yep. Man, I don't know if I should go piercing or or slashing. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, Bless you. Thank you. I guess I'm going to take out the scimitar and try to slash this dude. One closest to me. I don't see any on the boat, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> um, slashy, slashy. Uh, Hunter's mark. Can we mark them or the groups yeah. of them or what? Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm going to mark this one this right one. here. This one? And, this uh, one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, and, and smack him with scimitar. Smack. Uh, that's a hit. Yeah, but I can't get at the next thing down. Somebody pushed that up in the chat. For some reason, my screen is not fitting, and it's pissing me off. That's how that's mine is, too. Somebody just say something in the chat, so it'll push that up so I can hit the next thing. Thank you. Nothing. <laughs> Eight with the hunter's mark, right? Eight damages, and then you got to roll your six for your hunter's mark. Four. Yep. All right. So you fucked them fish up. They're pretty half. Um, they got almost half their hit points. Chucky. Next. All right. So <laughs> that was the, yeah, now it's the Panther's turn. Oh, Panther gets a slashing. He gets to do the slashing claw thing. Let me find him. Where are you at, Pitch? in the middle of the boat. No, I mean at this thing. Uh, where's the thing to use him? Make him punch, fight, nothing. Where is he? On my should sheet. Be, huh? Should be there under pitch. Oh, yeah, I see that, but it doesn't show me how to make him do anything. Just double click on his sheet. Uh, double click on bite? What? <laughs> you just gotta click on bite once. That's a hit. Uh, okay. Now, does he bite and claw or just one or the other? I don't know. Read the, read the sheet. I think it's just one or the other. Okay. Well, then that's that's his move, then. Make sure here. Yep, just one or the other. All right, so he hit for... How much did he hit with for his bite? 46 damage? Oh, no, that's the fucking swarm. 1d6 plus 2, right? Yep. So 8? Bam. Yeah. Fucking these things up. Oh, 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 Panther gets it. There you go. <laughs> All right. A swarm of clippers again. Which one is it? This one up here. I guess he had to be up here to take a bite, you know? I guess that's to our advantage, at least. You know what I mean? That they have to flop onto the boat to get us. Yep. They missed. That attack missed. So next up is Hermes. All right, I'm going to do my thing where I can get sneak attack advantage on one of them. Hey, anyway, what's up, Stephen B? Good morning, my friend. Which one? Um, the one that's behind the one that's next to the boat. Like, the one that's farther out. If I can see him. Can I see him in the water? Yeah, these guys? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I got all my insight, I believe. Yes. 
You should be able to be a negative one. All right. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to shoot a uh, longbow at the one that's... Uh, I guess I'll just shoot longbow at that one. Yep. That's a hit. So how do I oh, how do I roll my sneak attack damage? That's something I was like wanting to ask. Just forward slash roll two d six. Is that after I roll my normal thing or like my normal damage and then that? Or no, what? no, it's replaced with the two d six. Oh okay. Well, I do one d eight plus four, so maybe it's not even a good thing to use. Is it 2d6 plus 4 or just the 2d6? You get the plus, you still get your plus 4. Oh, okay. Well, then that makes it. Okay. So, 14? Yep. All right, so you shoot an arrow, and a few fish get pierced by the arrow and float to the top of the water. Another swarm of whippers here. Come around, attack Hermes. Fucking, they failed too. <laughs> We're okay with this. How are you going to jump out the boat and try to bite people that are armed anyway? Well, Balinor, you're up. Something is calling them here. So something is like, hey, Balinor, you got to get out of here. Get out of here. Go F them up. And then when they're hurt, I'll show up and do the real damage. So the one right next to me is dead, correct? So it's just the one by Pops? Well, there's one they're still alive. They'd have an X to them if they were dead. Oh, I saw I saw that big black head there. I did. I thought that minute. That's my hunter's mark. Oh, that's it. Gotcha. I just tried to hunter mark them. It did not. It's not. Can they? Do, can I not do one too? You can do it, but you just tell me you want to hunter's mark somebody, and I put them. Oh, back. I'm sorry. I want to hunter mark that one. Pops is on. That one's almost dead. Go after somebody else. Well, the other one is you're in between. You just hang off the edge of the boat and stab them with your lance. Man. That's a hit. <laughs> what, Rob? What's that up? That buddy? kills him. What's the matter, dude? It's almost over, dude. Another day or two. Uh, I know, another day or two, and it'll be all over. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Are they big and blue, buddy? <laughs> Nineteen, that's a hit, right? Pops? Huh? I hit you for nineteen. I can't hear you, man. He's just <laughs> with a nineteen I hit you, correct? Uh I have fifteen armor class, so yeah. All uh, right, yep. <laughs> Party. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I have 29 hit points, so, um, yeah, that hurt. You, you should be, you should have all I your told you to go after that one, Johnny. I told you. I didn't want to take a chance at hitting you. <sighs> all right, Buzz, you're up. Well, I'm going to heal Pops because he just got bit in the neck by this fish. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to cure wounds. 
which I have to touch, so I'll move myself here. Um, and I will cast Cure Wounds. Did it work? I don't have anything come across the screen. Uh, oh, here it goes. There you go. We got something for you. Here you for six. It's better than nothing. It's not the best I could do, but I think it's like only up to eight, so. Yeah, oh, no, it's higher. I must have rolled low. Yeah, it's a D8 plus three, and you rolled a three. Yeah. Sorry. But at least you're not dead. <laughs> but I have a feeling what's coming next might finish us off, so. All right, it's Zaka. Move over here. Kill these guys so we can uh, see what's next. Five slashing, eleven slashing, sixteen. All right, she fucked those fish up. Mr. Bohawk, you're back up. Mr. Bohawk, you back up. <sighs> and there's two of them in my face. One of them I shot, so it's damaged quite a bit. Though, and the one that came on you. Okay, which one's damaged? This set here. Okay, well then, I'm a hunter's mark. The other one. One right in front of me. And, uh... This scimitar was good the first time. Let's see if the scimitar is good again. Slap. Nope. Nope. Not this no. time. Not no, this no. time. And the uh, panther says uh, that, and the panther's pissed at me. Says that thing tasted nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so he's probably looking to uh, drop a claw on him this time. And he missed two. He okay. did. This swarm of clippers is dead. So this swarm of clippers gets to attack. Damn. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Twelve hit points. Down to three. I can't even disengage without dying, so you guys going to have to help me out here. <laughs> I'll get you when it gets to me. Yeah, yeah. Hermes, you're up. Hermes, you're up. Man, chicken man, where you at? Fell asleep. Must, must have stepped away from the desk. What? We lost the, the hell? man. Tobias, where you at? What did he do last time? He, uh, Yeah. Uh oh, it looks like he's disconnected, maybe. Oh no. The anther bed, she pooped the bed. Can you speak, Tobias? At least he could type it. He did. He said he yep. would type the one next to the panther with the bow. Yep. All right, fire away. 
That's a hit. <coughs> Seven plus four is eleven. There's, there's barely any fish in this swarm now. This one's going to attack Asaka. It hits her. Damn. Ten. And Balinor, you're back up. Yeah, now can I heal and attack at the same time, or is that, do I got to pick one or the other? One or the other right now. Um... I'm going to attack um, that one in front on, on top of the panther. I'm going to do a hunter's mark. Okay. And attack it. That's it. That kills it. <coughs> that was dead. Luz, you're up. Uh, I don't. I only got four healing spells, or, or at least in that one in the level one slot. I have three in the level two spot. Yeah. So I I can spend another one and heal pops. At level two. Well, I can do one at Cure Wounds again. I have three spots left. You can cast Cure Wounds at level two. I can? Yeah, when you cast a spell, it say, it'll say which level to cast oh, it yeah. at. And use the level two slot? Yep. Okay. All right, well, I'll Cure Wounds. We'll do level two then. There you go. Eight. That's 1d8. It only rolled 1d8. Roll on 1d8. It, it should roll another d8. Yeah, roll another d8. So you got healed for 12. Pass. He must have, he must be with the dog. <laughs> I could hit them both. That I'm kills them. I'm updating my Got it. over here on the right. You can see right. me. I was on my own screen. I had to click back. Pops, you're back up again. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see. So a bolt works on these things. Yep. Much better. There you go. And uh Well your D six for your hunter's mark. Oh that's right. Where's my D six for my hunter's mark? Alright, you killed plenty of fish when you fucking shot that arrow into the, the storm. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, There's about half of them left. But the panther missed again. Yep. And these guys get their attack. Got to miss. Holy shit. They just killed me again. <laughs> I think you're going to die. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. Good. Fish jump up and bite you on your fucking neck and face. 
And Pops is on the ground. You guys better kill that thing. I'll bring him back. Yeah. Kill him. Okay, I'm going to do that. I was going to mark that guy last time, but I couldn't because of my voice thing. So or I was going to do that thing. So I'll do it this time. Uh, insight. Well, he failed. <laughs> okay. And then I'll just uh, roll my bow again. What's a hit? And 2d6. 2d6 plus 4. Well. Well. Almost dead. I'm going to try something. No, that's not correct. You can put the 2D whatever plus 4 in there. You can. You can? Yep. Okay. I guess we only have that one left alive, correct? Yep, barely alive. All right, um, I'm going to hunter's mark it just in case, and then attack it. Try not to step on me as you're going over to attack. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to. I'm riding the 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 your panther there. Twelve is enough to hit it. Good. Yes. That kills it. All right. Everybody gets one or two hundred experience points. Even the dead guy. Yep. Hey, um, I'm going to go ahead and lay hands on pops. That's twenty. All right. And how much do we get for showing up? Two fifty. Oh, so thirty nine twenty total. Yeah. What is your next level? Seven thousand or something? Oh lordy. Look. Six thousand five hundred. Okay. So what did lay hands do for pops? That's my question. You got twenty back. You got twenty back. Okay. Um, pops wants to bind his own. He wants to do a little bandage. A what? So bind my own words. <laughs> Roll medicine. medicine. Your medicine check failed. <laughs> oh, how much health do you have for your need? Nine more to be tight. All right, I'm gonna medicine you too then. Dang, I'll be right back. Now you gotta hit medicine. I roll a six, a d6 or something. No, just click on the word medicine right there in that window. It's not letting me. Why? That's weird. So Max had to go, go, go. Well, let's play another ad. How about we play Lorius this time? Cool. 
It needed to finish out that last line instead of cutting off in the middle of the word die. That was the end. I know it sucks. I don't like the way they ended it. I know. Well, there's more to the song. It actually it, it has a whole second half to it, but of course I can't make my ad three minutes no, long. <laughs> it's another four bars of music and yeah. the, the dude singing the word die so you can end it after the word ends. You know, it actually yeah. ends in the middle of the word. That's that throws off setting up the next video. You know I mean? Oh man! Hey, I you launched the uh, the it. riddle today. So if anybody likes riddles, it's ready to go. If you solve the riddle, um, the consequences happen. <laughs> so that's fun. Where's that at? Uh, that yeah. picture. The picture. Um, if you look in the madness, I posted it there. I posted it on my Facebook page too, but the back cover of the issue, I, there's a picture of it and there's a skeleton. Um, and then there's a riddle to solve that's in sign language. And if you send the answer to that riddle to the path of the pale rider email, something happens. Okay. So you back Mac. Yep. Okay. Tobias rolled a 15 medicine, but it won't let him click on medicine. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. You just roll a D6. Because it's something I like. Okay, that's four more. Now I'm just five short. I can medicine you too. Let's see what I roll. So roll a D6. Hold on. Is it over 10? Yeah, it's 11. Yep. There you go. Okay. Now I'm almost normal. I got a bump on the head, but, you know. All right. So through the foliage, you see a crude timber fortification, a walled compound with watchtowers and tents inside it, encircled by a ditch bristling with sharpened stakes. A large gatehouse faces the river, on the shore of which are four rowboats tied to a wooden post. Scattered around the fort are piles of charred human corpses and flayed animal carcasses swarming with flies. Great. Let me pull up the map for this. your characters on here. And 
Is this Camp Vengeance? It is. All right. Now this is where we got off the boat. Yep, this is where you got off the boat. All right, well, I'm still two hit points shy. Can I medicine myself again or do I have to waste my potion? You don't have to wait. You can only get medicine once per day. Okay, well, I still have a pure potion in my backpack too. I don't know if I'd waste that just for a couple yeah. of hit points. Not only a couple down. I thought there was something else coming. It doesn't look like it. We're already at the camp, so. I could maybe ask Johnny to find my wound since he ain't done it yet. I thought I gave you 20. Wasn't that enough? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to be topped off. There you go. I have this problem with dying, you see. Yeah, you're always the first one to get hit, man. Yeah, I just did medicine. Thank you. Roll, roll D6. Roll a D6, Johnny. Oops, sorry. Uh, that was <laughs> a D6. <laughs> and now, he, now he's trying to kill me himself. See? Mm -hmm. No, I clicked the wrong D6. So. <laughs> Up here in the corner, man. Left Up side. In the corner. Left corner. All right, so the first thing you guys see is the gatehouse. It's ringed by 20-foot deep ditch lined with sharpened stakes backed by a stout 12-foot high log palisade. The depth of the ditch isn't apparent because it's perpetually filled with muddy water. The spikes are too big to be effective against the undead, but they're dangerous to large and huge beasts. The gatehouse is heavy enough to withstand a charging triceratops. The gates are never opened without an express command of one of the camp's three officers. The gatehouse consists of a ground-level entryway, an upper floor that serves as an armory, um, and a roofless fighting platform surrounded by a palisade that gives three-quarters cover against attacks made from the ground. Currently, two guards are stationed at the top of the fucking the, the gatehouse. Remind me, this is where we're supposed to be taking those letters, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Lori? Then let's walk up. I am going to come <laughs> right here. And I'm going to put my hands up and say, hello, we are friendly. I bring letters from a cleric back in town. He said that these are for your soldiers. We'd like to deliver them. We mean no harm. One second, man. One second. It goes back to the thing. Does you hear some shouting in a different language you don't understand? And then the guy says, okay, you can come on in. Okay, so do we go in? Let's go in. Yeah, I just follow you. I'm going in. Yeah, I'm going. I'll follow too. Just trying to turn off this. I forgot to ask, was that were those fish good eating, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Tobias would have been the first one to tell yeah, us. Yeah, I didn't bother. I was like, meh. They weren't dinosaur fish. You probably would have left them alone. <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's not a dinosaur. They were probably too small. They were probably pretty scrawny if they were in a swarm. I'm an archaeologist. I don't, much, uh, I don't like the modern either. fish. All right, so as you enter into the place, you see the animal pen. The knights built this pen for swine, but the camp proved too unhealthy for them, and they all died. The current livestock consists of four sickly goats. <laughs> mm, poor goats. Lori, go heal the goats. Um, I'm going to heal the goats. 
standing in front of you here is the command tent. Okay, is there anybody else around? I don't see anybody else around. I'm, I'm kind of nope. waiting for Tobias and Asaki to come in. I already did. What did I, oh, I didn't move my guy, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Where am I? Uh, I am going I to. The the screen. There you go. Okay. I'm going to position myself in front of the door, but not. I'm not going to go in. I'm just going to announce myself and say hello. We are travelers from afar. We bring letters for soldiers. To whom should we speak to? Okay, let me put this up here. Niles Breakbone comes out. He says, hello, I'm Commander Niles Breakbone. Um, I'm going to do a little perception check on dude. Go for okay. it. He is tired, hungry, and just, just sick and tired of being here. Mm, sounds like these guys could probably use some of our help if we want to do a side mission. Um, I was just thinking, drop some morale on these guys and get out of here. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Deliver the letters. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Miles, I have brought letters for your soldiers from afar. Um, should I just give them to you? Yes, yes. Okay, give, give me the letters. I can pass them out to the to the men. It's you funny are, that, you, that you delivered messages here because we have some messages that need to go back to Port Nianzaru. We've got seven <laughs> six soldiers, seven six soldiers downriver here, and each of the soldiers is suffering from mad monkey fever, shivering sickness, and throat leeches. Oh, okay. do you need us to send a medic? Clerics, they're kind of begging you for help now. So I know. That's why the other guy was supposed to come. He's like, eh. Yeah, he's like, you're a light. You go. You Is there? Care, I think I do have care. That's what I was gonna see. I think I have. Um, I have no. I have detect poison. I have detect poison and disease. But I have prayer of healing where I could heal like a group of them. Up to six creatures. Yeah, you've got a cure disease. I don't have cure disease. You can do that with medicine, I think, or something like that. We just all used our medicine on pops. That's true. We can we can give them healing potion or bug repellent. Mm, I don't want to part with my healing potion if I have one. Yeah. That's the only thing well, I can think of. Well, look, there are seven, six soldiers here. And if you go back to the port, I'll make it worth your while, of course. Yeah. What what are you offering? You get 50 gold coins to head back to Port Nianzaru, or I have you arrested. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, um, we can do that. <laughs> I was gonna to. offer. I was gonna offer them up my rations, just to let you know. I was gonna offer you rations, but it, uh, that's irrational. That's uh, fine. That's <laughs> fine. You're being irrational. The order of the gauntlet. Another thing we could do, Miles, yep. is if you're looking for supplies, we could bring back supplies. What Possibly. kind of supplies? To help cure. What do you need, just... dude? Quit being stupid. What do you need? Yeah, tell us what you need for your soldiers. We need food, we need medicine, and we need more soldiers. Yeah, well, we cannot supply you with soldiers. That's not our game. We're not your commanders. <laughs> um, and arresting us is just going to cost you soldiers, dude. So let's be wise. You want our help, you ask for it. And offer us a price. That, look, that dude just paid us 100 gold to bring you some letters. You're going to have to up the ante here. 
Well, I've only got 50 gold coins to be f spending to, while I'm out here. I don't have that much money. See, now we're talking. Money. See, now we're talking. Now we're negotiating. That's how this is supposed to work. Don't threaten us. I, um, we're not exactly outnumbered. I see six soldiers, so, you know. Um, yeah, that's, that's more gear and more, more gold and gear if we, you know, decided to. Now, would you like our help? Well, of course. That's what I asked you for to begin with. Yeah, well, kind of told <laughs> us oh, we were going to help you. <laughs> yeah, you kind of told us we were going to help you, bud. But now then, um, we go to town. We take your 50 gold and we buy you some supplies and bring you some shit back. Okay. That works for me. And then that we, works for me. We get, what do we get out of that besides not getting arrested? <laughs> um, well, we'll figure that out on the back end. I mean, we got 100 gold coins just to show up here. Yeah, that was a Let's separate transaction. Out on the back end. Let's just get outside these walls right now, guys. Sure, sure, yeah. Let's, let's, okay. take, the, let's take those the letters and do that. Yep. Real quick here, if these guys are needing rations, I'm going to give them at least each one a ration of mine mm -hmm. until we can bring back others. Well, how much rations do they want? As many as you can give them. They've got more than six soldiers. <laughs> They're just out in the fucking in, on patrol right now. I brought a bunch yeah, of rations. I got so. ten. I'll leave them five until we can get back. I mean, if you look back behind here, you see all these tents? Yeah. That's two people per tent, so they got 20 soldiers total. Yeah, seven of them are sick downstream. I ain't tripping. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> I'll leave some rations too. I'll leave them five of mine. All right. Because I have a bunch. Do they need bug spray? No, they're pretty, they're good on that. All right. There we go. How long did it take? How long has it taken us to get to town? It takes you about two days. All right. the gold up front. I think they'd have to if they want us to buy stuff for them. Oh yeah, I think that was the agreement. So you're taking the letters back to Port Nazaru? No, we're giving them the letters, right? Yeah, but he's yeah got, we're giving them the letters. He's got letters that need to go back to Port Nazaru. Oh, yeah, we can do that too. That's fine. It'd be a carrier service today. It earns us a that's little. All, that's all he wants to do about the 76 soldiers. What about them? They just want to send the letters back about the yeah. six soldiers. Okay, yeah, we can take the letters for sure. Where are we take? We're just taking them to town. Anyone specific? You need to take them to the, the 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 temple there. I can't remember the name of the big temple. Yeah, we can find the big temple. It's fine. Are any of the soldiers like really bad in health? No, they're all pretty. They're all pretty much okay, but they're okay. If they're sucking, don't get me wrong. They got the I'm just saying it's not like they need dire need of like health at this moment. No. Here. Okay. Let me show you these diseases. I mean, and what time of day is this? I mean, is this evening, morning? It's the morning time. Okay. We put this diseases page up here. 
here. You see that? Mad monkey yeah. fire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dispel magic spell Wait. destroys the mist. Yeah, I don't have that. This is probably what those frog people were looking about or talking about. Remember, they were like, there's a mist or there's a smoke and it will hurt you? Yeah. Lesser restoration and similar magic can cure a disease. Sounds like I'll be getting something like that next. It doesn't say whether this is contagious or not, though. Unless I'm missing it here. Yeah, I don't see anything that says that. See? And for a giant or humanoid that takes damage from insect swarms or from giant centipedes, giant scorpions, giant wasps, is exposed to shivering sickness at the end of the encounter. Those who have an applied insect repellent since their previous long rest are exposed to the disease when they finish a long rest. And throat leeches. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> God. Great. Yeah, I'll be drinking wine from now on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't drink the water. Don't drink the water. All right, so we head back to the city, I guess, at this point. Yeah, let's head back. We'll take the letters and uh, we'll get them some stuff. We need to go to the uh, temple there. The big temple. The big See what we get on the way back. Alright. For the river. I think we got lucky with those fish guys. They were in 86. Alright. So that's easy enough. As you guys are floating down the river, you see some brontosauruses walking along the side of the along the side of the river. Yeah. She says, I think we got lucky, guys, because she wasn't the one laying on the deck of the boat, which is mm-hmm. sticking Dude, off. Dude, I saved your butt back. twice. <laughs> I keep so taking it for the team. I don't know why. You're the only one that got smacked, though. Like, that tiger guy was effing everybody up. <sighs> you I don't know. When I see an 86 or... get roll, it's bad. You can attack the dinosaurs or you can leave them be. Mm, let's not attack the brontosaurus. I'm going to leave them be. Brontosaurus is a, I'm going to say we know that they're like big. I don't know, how, how much do we know about them? I mean, I know that they're vegetarians. They're big, though, and they'll fight. You get XP. Usually, I think they only fight when they're attacked, so I'd say we leave them alone. Yeah. That's a lot of neck meat. I ain't eating then you go right meat. ahead, and we'll wait right here for you. <laughs> No, I, 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 I'm satiated. I, I already agreed to hold back on dinosaur eating for a while. <laughs> you flew. You should be happy now. Yep. Right. Stop causing trouble. <laughs> All right. So you end up back at Port Nyanzaru. All right. Let's go you to the temple and drop off these letters. If they ask to deliver more letters, I think the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's something else involved. Uh, like a lot of gold. A lot of gold. Number seven. Look it up. Patients in the city. Seven is the Temple of Savras. Okay. And 
Cyrus is a deity of wizards, fortune tellers, diviners, and those who unfailingly speak the truth regardless of whether listeners want to hear it. His symbol is a monstrous eye or a crystal ball filled with eyes. Cyrus's temple is one of the oldest and grandest buildings in the city. The tiled roof of its dome resembles an unblinking eye staring skyward. A deity devoted to revealing the truth might seem to have a weak draw in a city of merchants, but Savage was widely worshipped in Cholt long before the spell plague. In those years, Savage's cler clergy were valued because they could keep tabs on the activities of the inscrutable Yan Ti, the snake people who loom large as boogeymen in the imaginations of Choltans. But nowadays, the, cure the clergy of Savage scries into more mundane matters, portents around business affairs, the outlook of newborn children, and affairs of the heart. As you enter the temple, the high priest, grandfather is the timbre. So let me see if I got a handout for him. Yeah. I do not. <laughs> Grandfather Supreme's of the Tim Ray. When the characters meet the priest for the first time, he's in the midst of a heated conversation with three members of the Zentaro. So he's in the he's in this he's in a conversation with three guys that are dressed in black leather. All right. Black leather. And he's like, look, I don't know where Artist Clipper is. I have no idea where Artist Simber is. I've never seen him before. I've never even talked to him before. Interesting. What do you guys think? And he's uh, like, you know, one of the guys picks up a fucking huge ass ruby and holds it out, and he's like, "What if we paid you this? Could you cast a spell and help us find them?" And he's just like, the grandfather's and so Tom Brady's like, "Shoo, get out of here!" You know, you belong in here, he's just kind of shooing them out. He shoes them all out, and he's like, as soon as they go past him, they past you, and you can hear him just sitting there and be like, oh, Sovereigns be praised. Goddamn, Zentarum. So that Ruby's not on the table? No. They took it with them. <laughs> Unless you want to ask him for it and see what they need. And he's like, he looks at you, and he's like, and how can I help you? Hello, uh, we have some letters from a soldier outpost. Um, they they're, have some diseases and they're needing some supplies, but mostly they wanted us to deliver some letters. Are you familiar with that group? Yes, the Order of the Gauntlet out in Camp Vengeance. Please, let me see the letters. Here you are. Give him the letters. He starts reading through them. He's like, oh, looks like many have come down with diseases. It yes. happens. It happens in Schultz quite often. Um, we can definitely get some 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 clerics dispatched to, to, to help them out. Thank you very much for your help. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, what's our main quest? We're looking for the thing. <laughs> um, they need some rations and stuff up yeah. there. Yeah. They're they're short on supplies. They're short on a lot of things. So. When you send the clerics, send a couple of pack animals full of food, man. Food. Sure. Of course we can do that. Cool. Thank you. They may what threaten to jail you if you don't help. <laughs> the morale is low, so they need, you know. And their need goats food. are not happy. Hold on. Hey team, let's ask this guy if he knows anything about our main quest, if he knows the location of the thing we're looking for. I think Max had to get up. Yeah. That's why I'm talking to you guys. So while Max is up, I'm going to play another trailer. Who should we play now? How about Bryant?
Yeah. All righty. The mailman came. <laughs> Ooh, our team? Just kidding. Yep. We're delivering our team my is the mailman stuff. today. All right, so it's morning time. You're talking to the head priest of the Temple of Savras. Right. He's going to send things to the guys. Um, I want to ask him about, I mean, what is, remind me what, I can't remember all the names of the things. What are we, what's the name of the thing that we're looking for in the main quest? The soul monger? Yeah. So... Head priest, sir, kindly, do you know anything about the location of a soul monger that's bothering the area? I don't believe anything that has to do with Chult is the problem. But I'm willing to consult the guides, a ritual that takes me about 24 hours. And I can tell you what I can see. You all right with that, guys? We can hang out here for a little bit. Come back and check in on Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right, so what do you want to do in Chult for the day? You can hang out at the bar. You can go to the dinosaur races. You can... Let's do that. Go to the dinosaur races? Yeah, I want to go see the dinosaur races. Okay. Yeah, putting ourselves in a position with a bunch of... Um, um, Fast, hungry dinosaurs. It's a great thing to do. We're going to watch them. We're not going to, like, go into the drive. What do you want to bet? What do you want to bet we're not going to end up in some kind of mess right now? It's in the town. Uh-huh. So what was like that guy that was in, in here town. before with I'm that? Yeah. drunk yet. It's fine. Yeah, she says. Yeah. The guys that were in here before? Yeah. Well, they're part of the Zintarum Assassin's Guild, basically. Very, very nasty people. And I don't they like wanted to what? They wanted me to work for, for Artist Kimber. Okay. I mean, maybe we can look into that, too. For them. I mean, if you, could, if you could find Artist, that would be amazing. He's been missing for, for weeks. I, I, does anyone else? Where was he last seen at? Check with him. He was last seen in Port Nyanzaru. He's probably at the tavern drunk or something. Oh no, he's this town has been searched widely by the Zentaro for him for sure. Any any other information about him? Like, what does he look like and such? Uh, well, there's a wanted poster over there on the wall. Is that him? I think I've got a thing for him. Hold on. <laughs> so he can describe him to you. There you go. Okay. Looks like Nicholas Cage, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking he looks a lot like Pops. If we dock up Trot, Doc, we could, I mean, a Pops, we could just trade him in. No. <laughs> <laughs> Artists. And then the Temple of God, the public bathhouse, the diet works, dinosaur pens, oh, simple Tamar, Mother's Throat, will be the. There's no races today. No. There's just Grand Coliseum where they have the Stone Arena. Here, let me find it on the map. It's number 20. Get some we can enter. <laughs> yeah, you can enter. It's down here. We can, like, enter as uh, gladiators, kind of. Yeah, if you want to. That's see? See? I told you. You guys just... <laughs> The stone arena is on the side of the gladiatorial games, usually non-lethal, but accidents do happen. 
Bloody animal combat, spectacular circuses, and the best gladiators become celebrities and earn fortune. Statues of the arena's greatest champions line the tops of the Grand Coliseum walls, including the city's current merchant princes. A green log and claim the fortune of the gladiator before hire retired from the arena to become a trainer and a politician. We visit the hell on month afternoon. All these special shows are held after sundown, down as the Coliseum depends on natural light. During the week, the bill features qualifying matches, consolidation bouts, and other small events. Major events, championships, and special extravaganzas are staged on holidays. A holiday show might include a battle between heroes of legend and pirates, all portrayed uh, by gladiators. A bloody match pitting velociraptors against tigers. Or even a contest of mages battling captured ghouls, skeletons, or zombies. So, do you want to do you want to be part of it, or do you want to just watch? I, I love fighting in arenas, but I don't know if anyone, everyone else, is down for that or not. No. Nope. No. Nope. Really? <laughs> if it's if it's one on one combat, then I'm down. That's why I'm here, man. I just I'll watch, but I'm not gonna enter into a battle. I'm a freaking cleric. That's true, and you're and you're kind of drained of healing stuff right now, right? Right, I've been healing pops. <laughs> well, if it's been two days we of uh, travel. We should all be fine now. Yeah, you should get it all back. All right, let me go fix it. What kind of rewards would we get? Golden rubies. Okay, and it's just a, a and what are we fighting again? Just just depends. Roll of the dice. We got a mission. I mean, we're not fighting creatures; we're fighting other humans, right? No, you fight creatures. Oh, uh, so if it's man on man, I would do it. I won't. I won't fight a creature. You fight velociraptors or tigers, or ghouls or skeletons or zombies. Now, can we pick what we fight? No. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I mean, being a paladin, you know, that's kind of bad to, you know, fight some, you know, creatures fight. that have no choice in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. fighting for money, too. Yeah, but it could be like a ghoul. Yeah, but if it's for sport, I mean, you know, jousting is fine, you know. I mean, jousting, I mean, knights do that. It's a whole different ball game when it's like creatures that have no control. I guess we can like I'm gonna I'm gonna ask if anyone's seen the Art of Simber guy and, and like maybe we can maybe end up fighting I'm here. So, yeah, I'm gonna take keep an eye out maybe at this event. Maybe he's here watching it or something. Okay. So you guys spend the afternoon watching the the uh, the 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 fights. Do you want to bet on any of these these fights? Uh sure. I don't know anything up that. about anybody. I'm not betting. <laughs> the, best way, the way the bets work is we both roll 3d6. Whoever gets the highest roll wins the bet. Um, did we split up that 50 gold earlier, or, or were we just only buying uh, stuff for them with it? No, they're they're getting the stuff from them now. We should get that money. Yep. Okay. 12.5 each. 12 gold, 5 silver. All right. Uh, I will let you know that you can silver your weapons for 75 gold coins. Uh, one weapon? Yes, one weapon can be silvered for 75 gold coins. Really? Um, I'm going to do that. Can be silvered? I, yep, yeah, you can silver it. Even a whip. Great for vampires. Yeah. Werewolves. Or uh, werewolves, werewolves or were tigers. Yeah, the were tiger. Yeah. He was like weak against. I mean, that's something I probably should do, but it's gonna use up like. Yeah, I'll do the same thing. So we're all gonna be broke now. But we're all gonna have a silver weapon. I'm not doing it. I am. I will have two gold left, but I am silvering. I think the scimitar. Yeah, I'm doing my sword, and it. I think I'm right with you. I'll have two gold left. I'll do, my, I'll, I'll do my rapier. 
Just make sure you write down what your silver weapon is on your sheet. It doesn't add anything besides uh, just silvering. It doesn't add I'm any just, stats. I'm doing my long sword. In additional features or where? I guess additional features. You could just say that it's silvers. Put on the like. Let me thing. like look it up. Let me see Jesus. here. Description. It's just change the name to Silver Longsword. Yeah. And that's good against what? Where creatures, I think. I don't know if there's. Yep. Where creatures, vampires, vampires, the undead. Undead, okay. Now it says I have three scimitars. I thought we had fixed that. Well, I'll get rid of one of them. Well, you can get rid of two of them and just leave the silver one there. Okay. Oops. But now it doesn't show up up there in my list. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, no, it didn't show How up. How do there. you edit the name on there? Because for me, when I, I unlocked it, it just gave me a, an icon to delete it. You can, like, the one that's equipped, you can click the gear, or the cog, I mean. Yeah, let me work on Pop's sheet real quick. Oh, thanks, that worked. Where did you put silver at, Charlie? I was just putting it in the name, you said. Yep. Is that all right? Yep. Okay, Max, now I'm looking at my sheet, and it says silver scimitar, and okay, now there's two silver scimitars <laughs> on my list, on my equipment list. There's two. Hold on. Get rid of the one I made and keep the one you made. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to do it for two of my slots because I have one sword, but I either use it one handed or two. There you go. All good. Thank you. Can I um, sell some gear while we're at it, too? Yep. Okay. What are you trying to sell? I've got a dagger, and I'm trying to. Is, does the whip have a higher range than the shimitar? Uh, let me look it up. A range? Yeah, the whip. Yeah, the whip's going to go out. I think they go out like 10 to 12 feet. Your scimitar is just going to go out however long the blade is. So it'd be like two squares compared to one? Yeah, it's I mean, it's like Indiana squares. Jones. You know, the Indiana Jones has, can do it. The whip has reach, so it has two squares that it can attack. The one in front of me and then the one after that? Yep. Okay. So could I whip through a teammate or would I... Yeah, you can whip through a teammate. Mm. Now okay. remember, if you roll bad, you could hit that teammate. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Which one would be worth more to sell, I guess? Probably the dagger. Well, I mean, I have a, uh, a whip and a shimitar I'm, I'm choosing between as well. But yeah, I want to sell, uh, sell the dagger for sure. Uh, well, the dagger's going to get you five silver. Okay. Let me look how much the scimitar cost. Scimitar costs 25 gold pieces, which means you'll get 12 for it. For it. And then the whip's probably not worth that much, right? Two gold coins. All right, I'll sell the. You said twelve for the shimitar, shimitar. Yep. All right. So back at three and ten. Well, 
All right, cool. I will remove them here. Sorry, I'm trying to remove that dagger, but it, I took it out of my item bag, but... <clears throat> Can't you scroll to the bottom? There's a little, it looks like a padlock. Yeah, on the right side. Click yeah. that, and it will unlock, and you should be able to delete things. I did it from there, but it left it in my other stuff. So I'm um, gonna close. maybe I just need to re refresh or something. Gotcha. I don't know, hold on. Let me look at your sheet. Where's Hermes at? There he is. Okay, yeah, because that worked with the shimitar, but not the dagger. Now the dagger's gone. Cool, thanks. <laughs> the dagger is gone. Uh, so is anyone uh, betting money? Um, anyone? I'll give it a shot. All right, how much you betting? Uh, what are the... It doesn't matter who's fighting or anything. I don't get to choose who I bet on or anything. I mean, you can choose who you want to bet on. What do you want to bet on? Uh, what, what's what's fighting? Sorry. Uh, we've got some velociraptors versus tigers. We've got some tigers versus zombies and some mages versus ghouls. Um, tigers versus zombies. I'll go with uh, tigers. Okay. And you said roll three d six, and then I, yeah. I choose I choose how much gold I want to do. Yeah, how much are you? How much are you? How much are you wagering? People might think I'm stupid for this, but I've got. Let's see. And what's the payout? It depends on my roll. Okay. Against your roll. I will bet. Eight gold pieces. Okay. Well, I've got a pretty shitty roll. So. <laughs> All right, you beat me twice and tied me once. So that means that you doubled your money. Well, wow. tripled your money. You well, tripled your money. Cool. So I got, instead of eight, I get like 16 plus 16. Yep. All right. Okay. Not too gold. shabby. Yeah. I was going to bet everything for a second, and I was like, mm, probably should. <laughs> Maybe not everything. Yeah. You just gotta got to Not going to push my luck, though, because. Right. What are the odds you're going to do that again? Uh, I mean, I can try again. <laughs> well, you can Don't do better do it. Here. I'll do another eight. Sure, whatever. Oh oh, wait, I'll do, nine this, I'll do nine this time. All right, you won, you beat me, and then you lost. So we won, we tied. So that would be it. So you get nine gold. All right. So I, I bet it, I paid it, and then I get it back? Yep. Okay, so all right, yeah, done. So what's what what's on our schedule? Um, we're we're waiting for that guy to consult the guides. So we're hanging out and wasting time while he consults the guides to help us find the uh, 
Thingy thingy. I'm keeping yeah. my eye open for that Simber guy as well while we're here. So. Oh, yeah. Let's go look for him. Let's see. Ask Definitely around. Definitely don't see him. Okay. Huh? Are you going to ask around? Sure. I guess. All right. One second. Is he a bad guy, though? Or are we helping, like, find a bad guy? That's what the assassins are. Probably the not. The assassins are looking for him. It's probably not. Okay. So he's probably a good guy? Yeah. He's hiding from the assassins? Yeah. I know there's a rumor oh, thing. I thought he was like one of them, and they're like, hey, where's our friend? <laughs> uh, no, there's so more of them. If we find him, they might find him too. Yeah, that's true. However, he might have some. You start asking around, they're going to know we're asking around. They're just going to follow us to him and kill his ass. It's... Yeah. Gotta take a step ahead, yo. <laughs> they gonna kill him. All right. As you first try to find out some information about him, the first thing you find out talking to somebody is to say, "Watch out for any mist with a blue tinge to it. It spreads for it spreads fever and drives people mad." Yeah, what? we know that the mist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, now that now that I understand what what. What's going on? I'm not going to keep looking for him because I don't want to draw like attention to him. The second person you talk to. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> they say the city of Mesra was not destroyed during the spell plague after all. Its ruins are an illusion. I heard a pale skinned man whisper this to a dinosaur man in a big, with a big sword. The dinosaur man smelled like honeysuckle, and the guy that, that you was talking to him looked like your artist Simber guy. City of what? Mesro. I'll write it down. Okay, and it's not a it's not a myth. Yeah, I'll just tell you to copy this shit real quick. Paste it into the talker box. Dinosaur man. I guess um, I maybe will keep my eye open, uh, take a look around for a dinosaur man with a big sword. Okay. Well, you don't see one today. And do you guys go back to the thundering real lizard for your sleep for tonight? Yeah. It's another silver coin for everybody. It's on somebody else now. I'm broke. I'll pay. I'll pay the gold this time. Okay. So you guys have a nice little party for the evening, have some drinks, have some food, get your sleep on, wake up the next day, kill some time, and then head over to the, the Temple of Savras. Yep. Yeah. Go talk to that guy. Go back to this Temple of Savras here. And he says, greetings. I'm glad you have returned. I have seen many things. Yes. I've seen, I've seen a jungle city far to the south, enclosed by cliffs and crawling with snakes, and a black, a black obelisk draped in vines. I dared not peer any deeper. But I urge you to seek out this city and the obelisk. Any, uh, yeah. Is the obelisk I'm, well known? I have never seen these things before in my life. Then why are you telling us to go look at them? <laughs> yeah. 
Well, because when I searched for the soul monger, that's what it, that's what that's what the gods revealed to me. Okay. Black obelisk. I mean, he's never seen it before, and this other town is possibly. The city, the city could be Mesro, it could be yeah. Omu, it could be something completely different. I don't know. I just know that the city is controlled or covered in snakes, and the, the black obelisk is outside. Is there a historian or anyone we can talk to that would know? Where, where the obelisk is, I think that's a pretty... Uh, I guess it's wacky. Number. That's what I'm... Yeah. What about Azaka? Good thinking. Or a city covered in snakes, too. It's wacky. Well, they could all be covered in snakes, but I think an obelisk is probably pretty... Uh, uh, Azaka's pretty, like, yeah. I've never seen a black obelisk, but... I'm going to look thing. at it like this, Lori. If it's a city covered in snakes, or loves, I mean, if it's a city covered in snakes, probably ain't nobody living to get out of there to tell us about the black obelisk. This is true, but it could have been habitated at some time, and now it's in ruin. Or so the obelisk, it's like the pyramids. The pyramids are, you know what I mean? Someone could know uh, about the obelisk. I would, uh, as Zaka says, I've never seen one. But I would suggest that it'd probably be in the city of Omu or Mesro. Do you have those, any info about Mesro? Cities, yeah, are those cities still uh, populated? Mesro's the one that we were just talking about, that the dinosaur man got the yeah. info from Simber that it's, that it's an illusion, that it's ruins, that it might actually still be a city. Hmm. I don't know about the other place, but that's already tying into our story here. So. There we go. Omu is where the, the gargoyles are. That the the bird men, the Aarakocker, are fighting. So it's probably more Mesro. Well, we ain't going to know nothing unless we go look, right? Yeah. yeah keep, yep. keep our eyes open for the... go to, guys. We can look for the dinosaur man with the big sword. Which one is the closest? We don't know where from. I don't think you know where Mesro is yet. Well, are we still standing in front of him? I was asking the priest or whatever. I'm looking for Mesro to make sure you guys don't know where it would be. No, you know where Mesro is. We know where the illusionary ruins are. You mean. Yeah. <laughs> where is that? Okay, hold on. Pull up your map. <clears throat> the screaming monkeys. Mesro is here. Oh, okay. So that's not Mesro. far. Omu is down here. Oh, that's the one that's far. Well, let's go take a look at Mesro first. Yeah, yeah, since we're here. Or, or, I don't know about the, I don't know about the dragon dude. He might not want us snooping around where he's trying to snoop around or whatever. So, um, if we do fight, catch wind to him, let's just follow him. Yeah. Right. Mesro is 11 hexes away, which is 11 days of travel. Damn. Well, Better get some more bug repellent, yo. Wasn't that one silver piece a, a, a thing or something? Yep. One silver piece of gourd. Yep. I might have to add two or three of them. Two or three more, so... Uh, let's just say I got three more. I still got quite a few of them, so I'm clearing out. The paladin's almost fucking immune to disease, so. I didn't have any because you said I didn't need it last time. I gave mine out. I think I have 17 at this point. Are you immune to disease 15. now? Well, you got Me? immune to yeah. Yeah, I have divine health. I'm immune to it. 
Yeah, so you're good. Whoops, sorry. Um, but everybody else, you don't just keep adding them to your thing. You got to take them out as you use them, too, you know. Yeah, I just took out two because we were gone for a couple days, right? Yep. Yep. So I had 19, and I'm at 17 now, so. All right. So let's head towards Mesro. Let's do it. See here, we got some undead that you're crossing. Let's see, what we get. Oh Ooh. shit! <laughs> and I'm gonna die again. And pops is gonna die again. <laughs> I got all my spells back, so we're good. Wilderness encounters, jungle, lesser undead. Shit. This works out good. <laughs> For who? Dude, you or us? <laughs> the story. Okay. <laughs> okay. We gotta find them. Didn't have any. What? Didn't have any of them, so I gotta find them. So I'm gonna take about a two second break and go grab a water real quick. All right. Cobalts attack you. What's that? Ninety nine cobalts attack us. He said I'm dead, so um, we're about to destroy <laughs> Good thing we got silver weapons. Good for you guys, yeah. I'm gonna stay out the way and just uh heal people. That's my that's my plan. Uh doesn't he healing does damage to undead typically, right? That what? If I use a healing spell, does it hurt undead? No. I didn't think so. <clears throat> oh. There's a, there's a spell you can take as a cleric later on that actually causes pain. All right. So let me put you in this. Random battle map here. Move you all back up here. All right, you see a Zentarum assassin in the distance that looks very familiar to you. Is it from the poster? 
it was the one. It was the one. It was the guy who held out the big fucking seven or five hundred gold piece ruby. From the okay, from the temple. Yep. So you need to roll your initiatives. Okay. Boy, I can always be counted on to go first. Huh? I don't know what happens, man. Mr. Bohawk, you're up. <laughs> I don't see what we're fighting. He's down here. That dude. One guy. The one, well, don't yeah. Don't roll for your panther, too. Um, I'm way too far away. If those squares <laughs> represent six feet or whatever, I'm way Five feet. Huh? Five feet. You're way too far away to get close to him, but you can still shoot him with a bow. Yeah, my panther can't do nothing from here, though, so. Uh, so we're just attacking. We're not trying to communicate nothing. I think he's right. coming for us. He pulls the weapons out and is going to attack you. Yep. This guy's no fucking slouch. Longbow 15, that's a hit. For eight. Okay, I got a question. Why are we attacking this guy? This is what I already he's, had. He's coming he's to attack, attack us. us. Dude, how do we know that? Guys. You just rolled higher initiative than he did. Because he pulled well, out his weapons. I'm talking about the mechanics of the game. I'm like, how he do we pulled, know? He pulled out his weapons. Ex. He pulled out his weapons and starting is starting towards you. Okay. You just rolled higher initiative, so you get to go before he does. But if he yeah. was in, if he's if he was first, he would just start attacking. Eleanor, it's your turn. Pops, do you did you roll for your panther? Panther's oh, too far away. Right. He can't do nothing. No, I mean your initiative. Or does he not? Does he go when you go? He goes when he goes. He goes when I go. Oh, okay, all right. And he's staying at my side right now. I'm not rushing him out there to be a target. Uh, I'll take you out in a second. Did that hit? Uh, 12 does not hit. So that arrow flew a little bit hot fire to the right. Then the assassin gets to go and he can move 30 feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we can move at our turn too, can't we? Yep. Uh, why am I in front? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to move in front of you as soon as I can. Okay. I'm basically oh. shooting my bow, and then as soon as I shoot it, I'm running up on him, pulling out my sword. All right, well, he would have waited and then would have moved up to you, and he gets his attack. Okay. Seven misses terribly. The 18 hits you, right? Um, well, I'm a class is 18. So it hits you. So you take 8 piercing and 27 poison damage unless you make a 15 DC constitution saving throw. So what do I got to roll for my constitution? Just a constitution? Constitution saving throw. Does his divine health or whatever save him from poison? No. Constitution save. You failed it. So you're dead. Awesome. <laughs> I love how Pops was like, it's just one dude, right? And I was like, we're all going to die. <laughs> this dude is badass. He's not a fucking joke. He's a 99. We're in trouble. There's always the chance to run away. <laughs> I'm going to be backing uh, up and shooting at him. 
<laughs> All right, so the assassin's turn's over. It's Luz's turn. Yeah, I'm going to move over by Azaka and the panther. You're not um, going to try and bring dude back? You're just going to leave him lay there? Dude, about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I can heal him from here with this. I can heal at 60, but I, I think that one is multiple people. We pulled uh, the Zaka. I didn't, I didn't roll her initiative. Oh, yeah, roll her. Oh, so she needs to go. Yeah. Okay, I'll put myself back. She hits for six. She had what are we doing here? Okay. There's that. Hermes, you're up. Wait, oh, I no, didn't have no, my really. turn. Les, you're up. Les, yeah. you're up. So, um, let's see here. I can heal. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's spare the dying. You can touch a living creature that has zero hit points. The creature becomes stable. And I got to go out there where he can hit me. Um, cure wounds I have to touch. Healing word I can do from back here. Creature of your choice. Let's do that one. Because I am I can do it from 60 feet. And it's just yep. one creature. Yep. Healing word okay. gives 1d4, right? Can I do it at level 2? If you want. It would be 2d4. Yeah. What? Yeah, it'll heal 2d4. All right. Plus whatever your bonus is. And roll a 2d4. Uh, hold on, I think I already did it. It did yeah. one, I think. Did one d4. One roll D4. another one. Roll another one. Yep. So seven hit points to you, Johnny. At least you're not dead. <laughs> He's not. I just gave him some healing. <clears throat> How much health is he at? I was uh, dead. All right, Hermes, you're up. He's at seven right now. And we can move like uh, movement is. What Six is it? Squares. Six squares. All right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna circle around and keep shooting at him from a distance and keep moving. All right, we'll move your guy. Two, three, four, five, six. Wait, where was I here? One, two, three. Wait, sorry. And I'm gonna do the the, the that one power I can do thing against his. <laughs> oh, you beat him! Ha. Okay. And then uh, shoot at him with the longbow. You hit him. And then nice. a sneak attack. 2d6 plus 4. 2d6 plus 4. <clears throat> 10. Nice. All right, your arrow flies right through the air, air and just sinks directly deep into his arm. What's up, Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> she's she's begging me for food, but she has way plenty. Stir it up, Dad. Stir it up. Stir it up. <laughs> yeah. She's I did. Like, I, I moved it around. And I'm like, you have food. There's a hole in the middle. She's a food fiend. It's a 
Assassin's going to attack Izaka. Misses both times. Balinor, you're up. Hold on. How did he get a second turn? He already had a turn that killed Balinor. We haven't gone through the whole list again. I'd be before him. Oh, Balinor. that's true. Hold on. That's because yeah, we had to put right. Azaka back up there, remember? Yeah, yeah you're right. Okay. Yeah, you're up. okay. Um, guiding Bolt. Misses, right? Yep. Badly misses. Okay, well, Panther Dude is going to go one, two, three, four, five. Man, I guess like dive right between these two and take a shot. Okay. Um, That's ten. a miss. Ten is a miss? Come on. Yep. You got to move them back one. I'm just wasting turns. This is ridiculous. All right, then Zaka went, the assassin went, and Balnor, you're up. I'm doing Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. That's a hit. Twelve, damn you fucking shit up today. What's your hunter's mark do? Uh what does it do? Let me look. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Alright, this dude's fucked up now. <laughs> he pissed Great. me off, he killed me. Was you're up. I am going to spiritual weapon. It's a mace. Um do do do. Yep. This guy. So That's good. a floating mace, right? Yeah, it flies, and That's it gets awesome. to it gets well, a move when I first use it, and it gets his uh, action bonus every turn. So yeah, he's there. Hit it. Right. That hits him. Yeah, that hits him for sure. For right, sure. and then I have a bonus. I move it um, behind him, so I'm gonna show you right here. Put it here, and then I'm gonna do it again. That hits him again. Good job. Take that. <laughs> Hermes, you're up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to fire at him again. <clears throat> Eleven is a miss. Dang. All right. Mr. Bohawk, you back up. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the longbow. That's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, bite. I'm just wasting time over here. Bite misses. She hits him with one scimitar slash. How does the seven hit, but my twelves and tens don't? Seven doesn't hit, but seventeen does. Seventeen. She has two strikes. Oh shit! I hit her twice. Nine damage plus twenty poison. She's got to roll with DC 15 con save. Nice. She failed the second one. So the first one only takes 10 damage, so it's 19. The second one she takes all of it, which is 29. She's down. She's still up. She's pretty badass for now. I'm so glad we picked her. <laughs> <laughs> what? Balinor, you're up. He should still be Hunter Mark, so. Yep. 
Nice. Fucking 25. Roll that Dang, damage. Johnny. 12 slashing plus Hunter's Mark plus 12 sl plus another. Roll your damage again. Plus four slashing and then your Hunter's Mark. And that's enough to kill him. Way to go. And as you, as you jam your sword deep into his stomach and start pushing through, he's like, grabs a hold of your weapon and pulls it, pulls himself deeper into it so he gets closer to you. And he's like, my friends will come for you. My friends will find you. My friends will kill you all. It won't just be one next time. <laughs> I jerk right. him off my sword out of him and, and basically throw him to the ground. All right. Do you have anything witty to say? Clean it upwards from his stomach. Hey, real quick, what, weapon, what weapon was he hitting us with? A short sword that was poisoned. Uh, um, you guys get a lot of fucking experience points here. So yeah, it's poison short sword. We got a roll for it. What are we gonna do? Nine hundred and seventy-five experience points. Yes. Thirty-nine twenty is uh, forty-eight ninety-five. Double check me there. No, it is. It's four thousand eight hundred ninety-five. All right. Yep. We need how much to level up? Six. Sixty-five hundred. Sixty-seven. Sixty-five. It might, it might be sixty-five. I thought it was 65. That's okay. We're not there yet. We'll forget next time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Next week we'll be like, how much? Let me see here. You guys got some more. Luke Do you have that Luke? ruby on him? He did. There you go. Scooting the He's got the ruby on him. He's got short swords that are not poisoned anymore. Lame. Does he actually yeah. have the vial that was the poison that he put on him on him? No, he doesn't have the vials of poison. It's probably some kind of spell. I missed a bunch of shit. Look at this. <laughs> Woo, we were lucky. <laughs> what a turn. Oh, no. <clears throat> good thing I rolled good today. Yeah. <laughs> Saved our butts, man. I'm glad I brought you back. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, I'm safe, Johnny. <laughs> All right, Azaka's fucked up. Johnny's fucked up. Did we loot everything off, dude? No gold, no nothing, but He had, he had his, uh, that, that, that gem. Hold on. Five gold pieces. So we each get one, basically. Seven silver pieces. And ten copper pieces. Ten copper pieces is one silver, so... Split that up to four, uh, two silvers a piece. Yeah, it'd be two silvers a piece, and then... One gold apiece, and someone else gets one extra. Give it to the healer. All right. I got it. I'm good with my money. I don't spend it often. <laughs> so it'll come It'll come in handy later when you guys are all broke. <laughs> You're like, I have money. Well, that's like both of us. I don't spend monies if it's not helping the party or my or making me a better party. <laughs> 
Yeah, but I don't think you should spend money on weapons either. I'm, I'm going to uh, do, some... do a medicine roll on Johnny. All right. All you, had right. Short. Six. you had two short swords as well, right? We did. And who's who's taking that gem? We'll just Thanks, sell off, split it when we get to town. It's just three, Johnny. But it's something. Oh, that's fine. Someone's got to be holding on to the gem. So who's holding on to the gem? I can take the gem, and then we'll get it appraised. Okay. I'll take whatever other loot he was carrying, unless someone else wants it. Did I get I mean, the silver short sword that I asked for? Or I mean the, the poison short sword? Well, you can have one of the short swords, yeah. I want but it's not poisoned. Poisoned. The one he had was using. None of them are poisoned anymore. Oh, then I don't care. The poison is wore off. Um, can I cure wounds, Azaka? Yeah. Higher level, cast level. Hold on. I was going to say, I need to, if I had to roll something else. I was short well, sword. You gotta, I gotta add those together. So that's 16 that you healed it for. And Max, I'm just laying hands on myself. Okay. I know it can get me arrested in several towns, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Ew! <laughs> just depends where you lay him. I didn't think that was broken. All right, so back to the map in the city of Mesro. Does our guide need more healing, or is she all right? She's probably pretty fine for now. Okay. Does anyone want me to do medicine on him? I'm up to full. Okay. I'll save it for an emergency then, in case anything comes up. We look up Mesro. How long did it take us to get here? I mean, did we have a night to rest, or is this a full trek? It's a good 11-day trek. Oh, okay. So if we don't have any encounters, we should naturally all be up to by the time we get there. I just don't have anything about Mesro. What's up, D20? What's happening? Um, guys, tune in a little later in the day. You'll see the replay of their show from last week as you get ready to watch their live show on Sunday. If they, I, I don't remember. Something like that. There's so much, so much going on, man. Um, but yeah, tune in anytime we got them guys on. They're good. They're good. So there's no map or anything, but you guys arrive in Mesro. There's no map because it's ruins and it's an illusion. Use your imagination? Yep. Uh. Crazy, huh? It is. <laughs> so we just like roll up in here and do some perception checks or what? 
I'm trying to find anything about it. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm Mesro, so. What the heck? I'm going to have to make it up. So. Do it, Max. Do we it. Will, we will call it for the day. Yeah, I was going to say, start there next week. <laughs> Call it for the day, and then I will, I will get everything ready for next week. Cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, man. Thank you. Cool. Hope the day was fun. I know not a whole lot got done, but hey. I had a whole. I had a one weird thing on my sheet. So. Um. In in my weapons and stuff, it shows the crossbow and it shows plus three, but it just puts a one next to it. It's there twice. It's like well, it does. It doesn't say what I'm supposed to roll for it or anything. I'll look for it. Hold on. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. <clears throat> I was just looking at it to see what it does, and it was like it put it in there, and it didn't, like, put what you roll or anything. It just has a one next to it. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, yeah, there we go. Well, let's find the crossbow. Hold on. There you go. Now I got that close in. Bah, bah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, tune in next week as Max will take us on another trip toward D deeper into the the jungles of Cho. And on another trip toward. Yeah. It's okay, I'll save you. You got it. <laughs> I got your back, guys. All right, thanks for coming out, everybody. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna play a few ads, and then I'm gonna go handle some business before the D20 replay starts at two o'clock. So if you want to check that out, be here. All right, cool. Bye, everybody. Okay. Have a good day, day, guys. Peace. Check this out. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. This. If you haven't seen this, go check this one out. Guys. are back in misfits clubhouse sharks dragons and little red wagons our lovable quartet knows how to turn anything into a big adventure and this issue is no exception they have a face-off with the ever feared old man Willie. there's a beach bash bonanza in their future and we also get to meet for the very first time their favorite tv hero bruce mctutherson aquatic investigator this campaign will have multiple collectible covers by awesome artists. And as you'd expect from us, the unique swag. We hope you'll stick around. Come on in and hang out in the clubhouse. Join along in the shenanigans. In a world where creatures of myth and legend exist, a covert task force is charged with keeping humanity safe from supernatural threats. And when young Nancy Moon stumbles into the eternal battle between good and evil, she finds... Oh my god, will you shut up? What's happening? Agent Beckett here. Aren't you tired of stuff like that? Want something different? Roll the tape. Whoops. Sorry about that. That's a song I'm writing for my ex. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Alrighty. Welcome to the world of the mythicals. 
we have it all. Monsters. Magic. Government agents. He's the strong silent type. This guy. Ugh, gross, dude. Get some kind of cream or something. Lots of 90s sour action. Pew, pew, pew. And that strong female lead alluded to earlier. Mm-hmm. Not to mention a dashing field commander with a great sense of fashion. Look at those glasses. South River Studios presents The Mythicals, Issue 1. Buy it, if you dare. <laughs> Ugh. Well, you can it already? How'd you get free? Now beat it before I lose my cool. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Like right now. Sign up today on Indiegogo. America's southern border has become a war zone. Human traffickers, drug smugglers, and terrorists flow across the Rio Grande with impunity, secure in the knowledge that no one will stop them. A distant federal government lectures Americans on their privilege while punishing overworked border patrol agents who were helpless to stem the tidal wave of invaders and determined migrants. Second-generation Cuban-American Marcos Zamora is a military vet, more patriotic than most Americans. No longer able to ignore the chaos at his doorstep, he acts. Joined by his best friend Gus, they hit the border every night, saving lives while stopping violent drug cartels and other opportunists. The government reacts with fury at Marcos' attempts to preserve American sovereignty, deploying the full might of their enforcement agencies. But Marcos understands that the only thing the rich and powerful fear is bad publicity, and he records every encounter. Whoever he is, this private American must be stopped. Illustrated by Richard Bonk and written by Eisner winner Mike Barron, Private American is his version of Captain America, and maybe a little Punisher, taking part in this ongoing, violent, and very real battle of good versus evil in the war for American sovereignty. Grab your copy at theprivateamerican.com. We have a secure border that is a priority for our administration. How do you end this thing? How do you put the... Where, there was the brakes on this bus. I forgot. Jazz how to hands. Drive. Jazz hands. Are Good night. Comic Books for Kids provides comic books to kids in hospitals and cancer centers across the U.S. It's a place where we can all work together to make sure every child has a comic book. 100% of all proceeds go towards the kids. It's about making a difference, and while they're in the hospital, allowing them to fly like a superhero, battle dragons, or rescue teddy bears. We are in every state in the country and now support over 160 hospitals. Every month, we add more. Visit CB4.